Hi guys, uh, Jessica here. Do a quick review for you. I've been super busy, so I'm sorry if you feel like I neglected you. Um, there's nothing on my face. I just have bobby pins on like, my hair. And um, I'm just wearing the lip gloss that I'm going to review. Um, I told you a little while ago that I got some NYX lip glosses. And I want to do a review on them because I've used them enough. Um, I have several colors. And if you want to know what colors I have, you can go to my NYX um, lip gloss haul. Because um, that's not really the focus. Um, when I get a lip gloss, I'm looking for pigmentation. I'm looking for how it makes my lips feel. So I guess consistency. And I'm looking for, um, you know, durability. How long it's going to last, right? So what I noticed immediately upon using... Um, one of my lip glosses is that NYX lip glosses are very creamy. If you're used to using um, Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush or MAC lip gloss, they're on one end of the spectrum and you know NYX are on the other side, meaning they're extremely creamy and they're almost slippery. For me at least, um, it wasn't a good thing. Just because I feel like it made the lip gloss wear off faster. I felt like every half hour or less I was reapplying the lip gloss. Um, the colors are nice, but I feel like because they are so liquidy, there's more of a sheen um, sometimes, especially for the honey one that I got. Um, I also realized that if you shake these up and kind of just pat them like this, they do get a little bit thicker. I don't know if they thinned because they were in a certain weather or climate. Um, I know she was in California and then she sent it to the East Coast, so I don't know if that affected it. I don't know if they're old. So, um, but they are, when you do open them up, it has a slanted brush. Okay. Now, just putting it on my finger here, it's, it does have a really distinct smell too, and I don't like that either. Um, it's like a, oh, it just smells really bad. I feel like this is almost like a chapstick with color. Um, like, because they're so creamy. A lot of those ones, they go on so smooth. That's what I feel. I put this on about five minutes ago. I put on, um, Real Nude. And I feel like it's already coming off. Um, it's. I'm highly disappointed. I did you try NYX lipsticks before, and I got the same thing. I had two of them, and I had the same review for NYX lipsticks. I'm just not a huge fan of NYX NYX NYX, <laughs> NYX lip products. Um, that is strictly my opinion. If you don't like it, then you can click off this video. I have used their lip glosses and um, I have used their round lipsticks and their round lip glosses. I have also tried to use these in combination with a lipstick and a gloss and I just, you can almost see it. If you really look in this, let me see if I put the light on. No, you're not going to be able to see. If you look in this container, you can see through the lip gloss to the brush. That's how thin this is. Okay, that just proves my point entirely. I wish you could see that. I wish you could see that. I can see right into where the brush is. So the, you know, the gloss that is on uh, the side of the container is just that thin, which tells you that it's not going to last very long. So um, I'm kind of really disappointed, and I really don't want these lip glosses, okay? Now, the only one that I have put on my lips with the brush is um, Real Nude. So this is the only one that I put um, on, the, on my lips with the brush. All of these I simply took and put on my hand. Um, so it hasn't been on my lips. So I might do a video and do a giveaway for these four. Because I just don't like them. Maybe someone else will. So I got a great deal on them, but... I just don't like them, and it was not worth the money. Even though they were cheaper than you would buy on their website or on Cherry Culture, I still think that NYX lips, lip gloss is it's not long-lasting, and it's not very pigmented. 
in terms of it's more of a lip sheen to me. Um, so that is my opinion. If you have an, a different opinion or a different suggestion for what I can do to try to make these last a little longer, um, I also put Vaseline on my lips and then I applied it over it to see if that would help. It just seeped through the Vaseline. It's insane how thin. Like, I feel as if I were to open this, I could pour it out. That's how thin the consistency is. Um, so, like I said, I'm not sure if it's because these were old and that's why she was selling them. Um, I don't know, but... Yeah, this is just so thin. It's like the consistency of a liquid foundation, maybe even less than that. That's not normal for a lip gloss. Um, so that is my review, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.